Today we will explore Cape Horn, the southernmost tip of South America and the most treacherous waters on the planet. So let's explore the history and mystery of this iconic landmark with me. Located at the southernmost tip of South America, this cape has been the site of countless shipwrecks, heroic rescues and battles against the elements. Welcome aboard our Zodiac as we embark on an adventure to Cape Horn. Before we set off, the crew gave us essential safety instructions to ensure a smooth and enjoyable journey. Things we need to cover is what happens if one of you fall over the side, okay? If that happens, it's important for everyone in the Zodiac to kneel down and point at the person that's in the water. As we approach Cape Horn, we see the Chilean flag flying high in the distance. Soon, we'll be up close, feeling the power of the waves on our Zodiac. So get ready for a thrilling ride to one of the most iconic landmarks in the world. After our exhilarating Zodiac landing at Cape Horn, it's time to climb the steps up the cliff. With each step, we'll be one step closer to the edge of the world. Hey, how are you? I am really good. <laughs> good. Are you ready to feel the wind in your hair and take in the breathtaking views from the top? That climb up the cliff was no joke. You're surely feeling the burn. But the stunning panoramic views from the top make it all worth it. And we're not alone. We've met fellow adventurers who've made the trek as well. This is great. Sure, it's good. It's a bit. <laughs> It's amazing how Cape Horn can bring people from all over the world together. From the walkways on top of Cape Horn, we are treated to a bird's eye view of the turbulent waters that have challenged sailors for centuries. The walkways cling to the cliffs, adding to the thrill of being at the edge of the world. But beyond the legends and myths, Cape Horn has a rich history that dates back thousands of years. Before the arrival of Europeans in the 17th century, the indigenous Yamana tribes inhabited the region living off land and sea. They were nomadic people moving in small groups along the coast hunting and gathering. Their way of life was intimately connected to the natural environment and they developed a deep knowledge of the sea and its inhabitants. The Yamana had a complex spiritual world. They believed that everything had a spirit, that the sea and the animals were sacred. They used song and dance to communicate with the spirits and their music was integral to their ceremonies. Today, the only visible reminder of the Yamana people is a monument commemorating their culture and way of life at the southern end of Ida Orleans. The Albatross Monument is another famous landmark at Cape Horn, built in the memory of countless sailors who lost their lives trying to run the cape. The monument consists of a bronze sculpture of an albatross, its wings spread wide, perched atop a stone pedestal. The albatross has long been a symbol of good luck and fortune for sailors, and it is said that those who see one on their voyage will have a safe journey. However, in 2004, tragedy struck when a rogue wave severely damaged the monument. The albatross was ripped from its perch and smashed onto the rocks below, leaving only its base down. The incident was a stark reminder of the sea's power and unpredictability, symbolizing sailors' dangers when navigating waters around Cape Horn. Despite the treacherous waters, some still choose to make Cape Horn their home. One such person is the Chilean naval officer who lives in the lighthouse on Isla Ornos, the southernmost inhabited island in the world. Yeah, it's yeah. Really ah, my, my, my children. Yeah. yeah. Enjoying. They are enjoying. <laughs> He's responsible for maintaining the lighthouse, which warns ships of the dangers that lie ahead. It was first built in 1832, but was destroyed and rebuilt several times due to the harsh weather conditions in the area. The current lighthouse was built in 1992 and stands 10 meters tall with a range of 22 nautical miles. It's fully automated and monitored remotely from the Chilean Navy headquarters in Punta Arenas. Thousands of Chilean naval officers apply to be here. The one selected to be here lives a solitary life with their family, surrounded by the vast expanse of the sea. We brought some candy for his children. Oh, oh thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> 
in his presence is a reminder of the bravery and the courage of those who choose to live on the water. And so, we stand at Cape Horn with the wind whipping through our hair and the waves crashing against the rocks. We are reminded of the power and beauty of nature. The legends and myths that surround this place are a testament to its importance in the history of human civilization and the stories of the Yamana people, the sailors who lost their lives and the naval officer who lives here all serve as reminders of the resilience of the human spirit in the face of adversity. As we prepare to embark on our journey across the Great Passage, we know that we are about to face one of the most challenging and unpredictable stretches of water in the world. But we are also filled with awe and wonder, knowing we are following in the footsteps of the explorers and sailors who came before us. And so we set sail, our cameras capturing every moment of our journey, the wind in our hair and the sun on our faces as we navigate the waters of Cape Horn and beyond into the vast expanse of the Southern Ocean. <laughs>